Hey everybody, what's going on? We're here with a timeless reading. Welcome. Okay, first cards that we have out are Hermit in the World. time or period for reflection to have the world here it can be about like achievements and accomplishments whether it's like stuff from the past that's been achieved or it's connected with like new goals that you have or new things that you're trying to accomplish it can be connected with like where you want to start with something it can be a new project that you're thinking about starting or a new chapter of some sort can be something going on within your life but it feels like something big to have the world here and you may be trying to figure out whether or not doing this sort of thing is going to be something that's worth it to you so it's like right now i'm reflecting on it can be like the skill sets that you have it can be like work that you've done leading up to this point and like accomplishments or even like resources that you have based off of like skill and work ethic and that sort of thing. What you've gotten involved in, what you know about, what you're familiar with, what you have in your toolkit. And also, there can be something that looks like it's a potential new chapter for you to be starting. And right now you may be working out like whether or not this is something that you feel like is aligned for you. To go in this direction okay definitely connected with what's coming up for you now and ways that you could take things ways that you could go looks like dis decisions about the steps are taking place but there can be some stuff that's still being worked out okay why you're in hermit mode right now you're in hermit mode because you're you're re reflecting on things thinking about plans and sort of it's like figuring out the next steps that you're going to take before you're taking them so then when the time comes you'll know how to execute because you already thought about that and you also know what your like main objective is so right now it's like looking at the different options that you have figuring out how to move forward and how to take action with these options also too like this seems like a pretty happy process like whatever this is it seems like something that's connected with joy for you and that when you get to this point where you figured out sort of how you want to proceed with it it feels like there's going to be this sense of happiness that comes because you feel like you're really taking initiative and showing up and making things happen and that you're going to feel because of this like pre-planning that's happening you're really going to feel like you're ready for this which is a big thing here It seems to like there may be a conversation about moving forward with things. Like something that's being expressed that's connected with how you feel and being able to continue and move forward. Forward to the point of figuring out understanding prioritizing what it is that you want
once you understand your feelings about something, I'm seeing that it is going to be expressed. It seems like it's on you to be sharing this. It also seems to like once that happens where it's like, this is what I'm thinking, this is what I'm feeling, this is what's going on for me. It seems that then things will move forward. And it seems like then it'll move forward to this place where there's sort of this, yeah, this figuring out that's happening that's connected with what you want. So it can be like figuring out what I want or figuring out how to get closer to what I want or how to pursue that or how to prioritize that. And it can also just be prioritizing the things that you want in general too. The things that you feel connected to and wanting to focus on those things because those are the things that you want to be like growing and expanding. So that's what you wanna be watering. There can be fear that's associated with moving forward because I'm seeing like things are things are pushing forward and there is progress that's being made and there there is like figuring out that's happening and also it seems like I wonder why. It's kind of like you're on this boat and you're moving from one land to another and like you know that you're going to to a place that's better suited for you or that's like definitely in line with where you're going. So it's like you know that you're going towards something good, something that you want, that you're going in like a, a desirable direction here. But you may be on that boat and you can know that but you can also be feeling a bit in distress mentally for some reason so it's like i know that this is good for me or i know that this is the right direction for me but i'm still feeling like worried about some stuff or i'm still feeling scared about it it can be like that sort of thing or there's just some stuff that's bothering me still or i don't feel completely calm or settled I do get the feeling too that this may be because you know that you're moving into a direction where there's going to be sort of this spotlight on you figuring out what it is that you want. And so even though you know that this is like you progressing, there can be like anxiety that you feel associated with that because it's like, what if I get to that point and I don't know what to do? Or what if I can't figure it out when I get there? Like, what if it takes me longer than I think? It's like this thing that has to do with something that's up in the air that's going to need to be figured out but it's associated with what you want. So it's like associated with something that, like you would see this as being a good thing. Cause it's like, I'm figuring out what I want here, but it, it seems like there's this part of you that's like, what if I'm not ready for that part? What if I'm not ready to figure out what I want? It's like something like that. Just to reiterate, you know that you're moving in the right direction and also there can be some fear that you have about the progress of things where you're like what if i get to that point which is like a great point to get to and like i don't know what to do or i can't figure this out or like i'm stuck there for a while you know that sort of thing like i don't know which thing to choose It also can be because you have to figure something out on your own too and like nobody else can tell you the answer. So you have to really rely on what you're feeling. And that can be something that's stressful too because it's like all of this is weighing on you. You may feel like you need to take a little bit of a mental break and then you're gonna get back to it is what I'm seeing. Yeah, there's something that you may not feel like the most confident about right now. But that's not to say this is like while you're in transition. That's not to say that once you get to that point where you have to like show up and do the thing that you're not gonna know what to do. It just feels like worrying. Bef it's like you know that you're gonna be going somewhere and before you get to that destination, you're like, what if when I get there, like this happens or this happens or this happens. So it's just like these worry thoughts that are associated with it. But that's not to say that once you get there, 
like you're not gonna finesse it and be fine. It just may be something that it seems like is troubling you a little bit, but you're, I'm, not, I'm seeing you're not even at that point where you need to be figuring this out yet. It just feels like anxiety that's connected with future thinking. So maybe you're gonna do something that allows you to be present and helps you ground your energy rather than it like escaping towards future stuff that you don't even know that's gonna be the case when you get there. Yeah, it's being suggested that you just take like a little bit of a mental break because I'm seeing you just like a rest that you need so you can gather yourself and then move forward in a clear direction. You have to figure out what you want. And I'm seeing there be stress associated with not knowing what that is yet necessarily. And you don't want that to get in the way of what you're doing here. Because it seems like this is associated with something that you're manifesting, something that you're creating. And you still feeling like you don't have a solid direction yet. But you're just in the middle of a process. This can be about two figuring out like what, what to move towards and where to go. Okay, so a plan is being devised, it's being like thought about, it's being figured out. There's going to be an expressing that's connected with what one feels. What one feels and what one wants, especially. So this is like communicating, I want this or I want that. And so right now I'm seeing you be in this period of reflection where it's like, like, what's my plan and where am I trying to go? So this is a very, especially to to have Virgo here. This is like, I'm really spending the time thinking about this and processing and analyzing, like, what is the most effective route for me to be taking? Um, but it's connected to, it's not only practical, it's also emotional. So it sort of needs different different aspects and different perspectives looking at this and different things that are motivating you. So it's like you're gonna have to take practical steps, yes, and actually like do the footwork. And also it's tied with like what your heart is communicating with you as well and connecting with that part of yourself. So it's like those different energies, figuring things out, feeling your way through this. It's associated with beginning a new chapter. This would be a very, very big chapter. And it's a decision that's connected with where you want to go. But there can be a, a feeling of fear that you're, a feeling of fear that you're feeling about moving forward. So it's, it's like you know that um, a chapter is coming up that you're deciding what you want that chapter to be because it seems like you have options about what it is that you're starting here and what it is that you're stepping into. And then once you decide, you're going to be able to move forward, which you think there would be relief then because it's like, okay, I decided and now I'm moving. But I'm seeing there still be this feeling of feeling like unsettled or uneasy about moving forward with things, but it's all connected with you thinking that you still don't know what you want. So you may be really struggling with this, but I feel like you're too much in your head and not in your heart. And that may be something that you're trying to like shift the energy around like physically for you and like spiritually for you, because you may be trying to like think about a solution here and you need to feel the solution. And that's why you're getting, that's why you're getting like caught up on this because you're you're trying to approach it from like an air perspective and you're meant to approach this part of it, a feeling with the feeling function, like with your heart and with your senses and with your intuition and with your emotions, like that sort of thing. But you may be like trying to, trying to figure it out like it's a logical thing to do when really you just need to get in touch with your heart space and that's actually what's gonna help you. 
because the heart and the head need to be connected here and it feels like they're disconnected. So this is about you connecting the things. But you may be like, when you feel stuck, you like to problem solve from a like cerebral standpoint. And this is about uh, integrating the feeling function within this for you to bring both of them together. Because it feels like it's missing a little bit of heart here. And then you're just getting all frozen mentally. So you have to balance those two things out because you're leaning too far into the air energy and you need to bring it back and meet it, meet it with the water energy so you can get a sense of what's going on here for you and where you feel called because then you're going to be able to express what you want which that's where I'm seeing you feel very stuck. And then everything's gonna fall into place after that. Yeah, it seems too like there are a lot of options as well. And to have it end with the magician, it feels very much like this is connected with a creative process within your life and like everything is creative like the words we use the decisions we make all of that stuff so whether this is something where it's like there's a project that you're working on or this has to do with a relationship or a life decision whatever it is it's sort of about like what is my intention here of what I'm trying to create within my life and what type of chapter do I want to start that's aligned with that and that's what's being figured out right now. Because I'm seeing that you're in this thoughtful space wanting to make sure that the chapter that you start is aligned for you. Now it's gonna feel like, like this was worth my time to be doing or worth my energy to be doing, that sort of thing. Okay, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everyone for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I'm sending everybody love, and I hope to catch you guys next time.